What's now because he says your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. God's kingdom now refers to his rule and reign in the hearts of his, his followers. That's what God's kingdom is now. I'm a believer and God rules my heart if I'm a believer. His reign is here and his kingdom, when he says your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, he's telling me that I should be praying that God's kingdom comes now, that his rule and reign is so strong in my heart that my heart and my will are aligned with God's heart and will. That's why this is the hardest prayer. Because I'm praying, God, align me with you. Align my heartbeat with your heartbeat. Make what's important to you important to me. Let me love what you love. Let me hate what you hate. Let me be about what you're about, right? I, I mean, align my heart and will with yours. Enable me to live your kingdom principles. Enable me to live as a kingdom citizen. Let me be, live in a way that shows the world that I follow you. And, and when we do that, when we pray God's kingdom come, God's will be done, here's what we begin to understand. We've got to go back, and it goes back to knowing the Father. So do I know the Father's heart? Do I know the Father's heart? I mean, what I do and when I know the Father's heart, I know that God hates racism, for example. And Kyle, you know, uh, spoke when we showed the Martin Luther King video, and Kyle come out and talked about Martin Luther King and, 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 and the role that he played. And, 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 and here's what I want you to understand. Listen, uh, why was that so important? Because it was about Martin Luther King? No, it was about the heart of God. And if you're a believer, if you love Jesus, then his heart and will should be your heart and will, and that means you should stand against racism. That means if you're a man, let, let, me, let me help you to understand what we're going to challenge. We're going to challenge you men to a high, high level here, okay? Because we believe that God has placed you in leadership, in the church, in a family, and we're going to challenge you. And what real men do is real men reject passivity. Real men accept responsibility. So it's not enough for you men to just say racism is wrong. When you see it, you have the responsibility to act against it. And so that's, God, that's praying, God, your will be done, your kingdom come. When you know that orphans, you know, when, when they don't have a, a home and we should champion orphans, that don't mean everybody should adopt, but what are we doing to champion orphans? Because God is a champion of the fatherless. What does that mean we do about sex trafficking and slavery? What does that mean, you know, we do uh, in, in any social injustice about sharing our faith? That's the heart of God. That's his kingdom because that's his, that, that's his rule and reign. And his heart is for people to know him. And I'm a kingdom citizen. If I come in line with the Father, then that means I'm used to bring people to him. He saves, but he uses me to do that because I'm in line with the Father's will, with the Father's heart. That's why this is so hard because, hey, listen, we want prayer to be about changing God. We want to go to God and think, okay, I've got to get this done, and so I've got to pray that God will do it, and it's about changing God. And let me tell you, prayer is not about you changing God. God is immutable. Theologically, that means he is unchanging, right? God, is immute, uh, God never changes. Here, here's the, the deal. Prayer is not about changing God as much as it is about changing you, okay? Prayer is not about you getting your will done in heaven. It's about God getting his will done on earth. And so when we pray, it, it, it's not just for our glory or our good, it's for God's glory. So, so Jesus is challenging us. One of the elements of prayer is it just God help me to get this promotion. God, and there's nothing wrong with praying about your job if it's for God's glory. God help me to get this promotion. God help me to have a lot of money. Help me to have all these things. Help me to take care of this, take care of that. You know, we pray a lot about our good. And Jesus is saying, you need to be focused on God's glory. And here's the great thing about it. When your focus is God's glory, it is for your good because your truest joy can only come when you're sub completely submissive to the heart and the will of God. And so therefore, he says, you pray. And prayer is about recognizing it's relational. It's about recognizing who God is. He's Father, and it's about recognizing how holy and how pure, how true He is so that you'll know that. It's, and it's also about God's kingdom, God's rule, God's reign. It's about aligning your heart with His heart, your will with His will. And that's a difficult part of prayer, and that's what we must do in prayer.